Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to a BeamNG Quickie. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Uh, if you don't know, BeamNG Quickies are mods or maps uh, that aren't necessarily uh, full video worthy, but I still think they're freaking awesome. And the mod we're going to be checking out today is the Crash Hard Guardrail. And if you don't know, Crash Hard makes some of the most high quality mods in the BeamNG community, and this one is no different. I've spawned up a couple here to make uh, a really long one here. Now, if you can't tell, uh, this is a soft body guardrail, which you don't see very often in racing games. And I think they should be way more common uh, than they are. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just it, it makes it, it makes it more immersive. I've seen Wreckfest in, in the early versions of Wreckfest. They had these and Dirt 2 or maybe it was the dirt dirt one, I don't know, had kind of soft body uh, guardrails as well. But besides that, I can't think of any games that have like true soft body or at least deformable uh, guardrails. Some games you can break through them and stuff, but they're never like, I don't know, tactile. You can make dents in them uh, like this. So I'm so happy uh, that this is a thing and I hope you can make it so like you can make mods with this built into it. That would be awesome. Uh, so if you're like doing a race and you you lose it, you just absolutely hold on. Let's get a better angle here. I've got my <laughs> my crash test uh, old 98 Regency here. Let's drive into this again in slow motion. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yes. I wonder how many hits it would take to actually break through this thing. Let's find out. Here we go. And oh, it's a pretty tough guardrail. Not gonna lie. Here we go. This is the what is this the third time, fourth time? Ugh, I don't know. I know this isn't the fastest car, but I would assume it's pretty heavy, right? A big like 90s, 80s sedan. Oh, yeah. It's not given. It's not given. We're gonna need something a little bit bigger if we're, or maybe even faster if we're gonna break through this thing. So you know, let's go with like the drag blue buck, just like the heaviest, fastest car I have, and let's see if this can break through the guardrail. Oh, <laughs> okay, so we didn't necessarily break through it. More just kind of flew over the top of it, but we did put a pretty nasty dent in the side of this thing. Hold on, let's go over here and take this thing at an angle. Kind of like a more realistic crash if we're going to crash into the guardrail. Like, oh, <laughs> we're going to get caught. Hold on, let's try that again. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and um, get these all fixed up again. So if you want to know how this works, it's actually segmented into parts. Uh, so if you go over to the vehicle selector here, we'll see it down here. Uh, the crash hard guardrail. We have uh, a section with the front and in rear end caps. One with just on this side, on that side, and then one without. But you can actually go in. Uh, to these parts here. So we have the back one selected here. You can actually just go into the parts and change them at will. So you don't necessarily need to spawn up each piece individually, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So now, why don't you say, what do you say we, uh, let's get back to our car here. Let's go down to the other end of the track and run into this thing head on into this end cap here and see how many we can actually take out. See if we can like turn this guardrail into like a snake thing. I don't know. We got the speed to do it. I think we can. You know, so let's spawn this up right here. There we go. And go full speed. Get some grit, please. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, man. You know, actually, it held up pretty darn good, I must say. Let's check the damage here. Um, why is my camera so slow? Hold on. Let's go back up here. All right, so here's the damage. Yeah, not bad. They are nailed into the ground, though, as you can see. By the way, look at the detail on this, man. Look at that. I'm, like, right up close to this. I don't know. I'm just, I just nerd out about stuff like this. It's, it's, like a, it's a mixture of my two passions in life, uh, game physics and racing games. So when you get details like this, it just makes me super giddy. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Do you guys enjoy this stuff as well? I, I, mean, I know it's, like, mundane. I mean, it's literally just a guardrail, but I don't know. Something about it is just... So freaking cool. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What do you say uh, we we up the heat a little bit? So let's go back to our car here. I got an idea. I want to see if I can, like, uproot this thing. 
uh, with a ram plow. <laughs> and let's go with the destroyer, because why not? I think we can. I think it's going to rip this straight out of the ground. What do you guys think? Let's find out. Here we go. We're not going too fast, but I don't think it's going to matter. All right, I'm actually going to give myself a better camera angle for this. All right, it's literally about to make contact. Oh, and it does! Yes! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, wait. Kind of slowed us down, though. Hold up, hold up. Are we okay? Okay, okay. It was giving our engine a hard time there for a second. Hold on. Let's go back for round two. Let's turn on the NOS. I know it's not going to make that much of a difference, uh, but let's get some NOS in here. And see if we can... I want to make it all the way... Look at that thing hanging in the air. <laughs> oh, we did more speed, man. You know, you know what we have to do. You know what we have to do. We got to get the uh, We got to get the ram bus with the Jados. I'm trying to take out this entire guardrail, man. Actually, you know what? For this one, let's reset the entire thing. There we go. We got a couple bruises, dents and bruises. So let's get back. Make sure we got this lined up. I could have lined it up. Oh! Didn't see that there. <laughs> I, I could have lined this up a little better, but, uh, you know, I was too excited. So here we go. That's going to go right into the cabin, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. It's working, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that is just pure fun. Let's take it from the side this time. And see if we can actually break through it this time with this thing. If, if we're going to break through it in, if, in anything, it's going to be this. Let's be honest here. It's going to be this. So let's turn this around. That's not going to be easy. Hold on. I'll be right back. we got to turn this. It's going to take like 20 minutes to turn this thing around. We're going to do it, though. All right, we're back. Let's see if we can break through this. Come on. Easily. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> the guard buster, I guess you could call that thing. Oh, man. So, what did we learn today? I love stuff like this. I want to see this in more racing games. I, we desperately need stuff. I don't know. It's just, it, 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 it's more immersive. It's just straight up more immersive when you have stuff like this that, that you can interact with. I don't know. It, it would just be satisfying in, like, uh, Forza. You slam, you take somebody out, they go into the guardrail, just get torn up by the guardrail, and it just cause all sorts of destruction. It's just awesome, man. It's just awesome. Let's get a normal car right out. Back out for one more hit here. Uh, what should we do? Let's do another drag car. How about the Burnside Special? Not exactly the safest car in the world, but let's see if we can break through this. We're going to take the weak point. Oh! I think we did it, right? We kind of broke through it. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, guys, if you want to download the Crash Hard Guardrail, I'll have a link down below. Check it out. Crash Hard, man, you did it again. I love that you make stuff like this. You don't, I don't know, you, you think about the details, man. You make the, the explosive barrels, the guardrail, the dummy. He has a really good crash test dummy as well. He's just, I don't know, one of the best there is. And I hope he keeps making stuff like this because I truly appreciate it. Uh, so that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this BeamNG Quickie. If you want to see more BeamNG Quickies, uh, because there is a lot of stuff that I don't make full videos on, but I think could be good, uh, for little videos like this. If you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and you know what? I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya!